Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video so as you guys probably know we have a new halloween event in battlefield 2042 called the circle of hell with this event we've got a straight month of battlefield hardcore and we also have the m1 grand in the all-out warfare so now you can use that weapon with the all-out warfare attachments but what's more important is uh this halloween event actually brings us one total month of hardcore and you can actually play hardcore in conquest uh, this week you can play it in conquest and rush and for the upcoming weeks you'll be able to play it even in breakthrough uh, so we have the three main modes of battlefield in hardcore and what's interesting is i made a video about the hardcore battlefield 2042 why it's not a fan favorite game mode it's just the favorite of a minority of battlefield players and in the comment section there were some people actually defending hardcore saying that uh, they like it they were saying things like hardcore was the core of battlefield w uh, back in the days like they love it they want want to play it they want to see it in 2042 and those kind of stuff and now that we actually had the battlefield 2042 hardcore on el alamein and battle of bulge for more than a week now even these guys can't defend it now because it's really ridiculous you see you have a big map very wide open spaces little to no cover you really need uh, like vehicles to get from one side to another and the interesting part is you can't even run properly like the issue is you don't have the tactical sprint uh you can't slide you can't do anything and those things are like the core battlefield 2042 experiences you can't just take them away and call it a hardcore and in a wide open map like for example the el alamein let's say or even the battle of bulge you are literally getting one shotted by snipers by uh, like the literally dmrs can one shot headshot you and that really makes the whole thing just an unpleasant experience now if you guys are like hardcore players i really want you to go down in the comment section and let me know what you think about the circle of hell event the p hardcore part of it at least dice was yeah. rational enough to put a standard version of the el alamein and battle of bulge there so people are not really forced to play hardcore that was something smart but hardcore servers are literally just empty at least that's what i see and people are starting to actually prefer to play the standard version of the game instead of playing the hardcore when they are like getting one shot killed by some dude with an lmg from like 200 meters away in a map with no cover so that's what i really want to know i want to know uh, what you guys actually think about this and uh, go down in the comment section let me know because there were people defending it and now i want to see how those people are actually experiencing battlefield hardcore for the m1 garant i really thought they might give it some more attachments i might actually as well make a video explaining how you can actually play this weapon better and the things you can do with it to make it even uh, more enjoyable but i really thought a weapon like this coming to the all-out warfare is going to at least have some more attachments right but it wasn't the case and it's really interesting but, but i don't have any idea why these guys actually prefer to bring up the m1 garan instead of like for example the m249 like the lmg or the spas 12 or the aug or the g3 those weapons were like more compatible with the atmosphere of 2042 you know uh instead of a weapon from the world war ii so i don't know what's going on i don't know what's the like the thought process of these guys actually doing stuff like this whatever it is it appears that uh, they really need content like we already see in 2042 uh, that the game is actually running out of content despite the circle of hell event being live now people don't really have anything to play like okay we have the m1 grand now so what else you know a weapon and some lighting changes in two maps is not enough that's something they know but they're not willing to do anything about it and that's really interesting because right now like as we are speaking we have like 11 months until the next battlefield game and they have to somehow fill this gap with the content that there isn't and they are not actually willing to put any effort into making it you know after season seven uh, we actually wanted to have some more weapons like the variety in this game is like trash we all know that 2042 is not a good game when it comes to weapon variety and map variety and all those kind of stuff and after season seven when they actually said that there will be no more content people were like what the hell how are we gonna supposed to wait and play this game until like 20 like late 2025 how are we supposed to do that they actually said that there will be no vault weapons no more vault weapons coming to the game uh, but what they did was adding the m1 grand so probably we, we're gonna see the remaining uh, vault weapons coming to the game slowly because these guys want to like add uh, a weapon every two months and i don't think that's going to work because that's not going to be considered content like that's nowhere near anything you can consider content and you know i can already see content creators making videos about the game getting bored
suffering and all those kind of stuff and rightfully so because that's what really happening right now i had like a lot of friends actually playing the game and now every single time i go online uh, there's literally no sign of them like these guys have stopped playing literally have stopped playing because of 2042's like boredom like it or not people play live service games for new content if you don't provide that, there are many games that will provide that for that. So they are just going to stop playing your game and start playing other games, not failing to actually provide new content. That's what's happening to Battlefield 2042 right now. And in my opinion, like adding two, three weapons is not going to be so hard. I'm not like waiting for them to release new maps because that's just not possible probably. But they can actually give us the entire remaining vault weapons in a small update. And then they can literally just add more weapons. Like, adding a weapon to the game is not going to be super hard believe it or not they can actually do that uh, in the process of developing the next battlefield game so it's not like a big expectation here because they already delayed the next battlefield game for a year these guys need to support their live service game the 2042 until the release of their next game because that way people will remain a battlefield 2042 player but i guess now people are just preferring to go back to battlefield 1 and battlefield 5 where there is actual content and uh, there is like at least some variety to the weapons into the maps so that's what's happening to the game and if this goes on if this continues going on it will eventually kill the thrill for the game until like the middle of 2025 where the news of the next battlefield game will slowly start to come out and i don't really think that's something neither dice nor the fans want so they really need to do something here and i guess it's clear what they can do what i think they should do is they should actually go with adding more weapons but if you have like any other suggestions do make sure to comment them down below uh, let's see if there is something dice can do to actually help support this game until the end of 2025 where the next battlefield game will come out hope you guys enjoyed and hope this was helpful this was a small news roundup for battlefield 2042 so thanks for watching and until next time guys stay cool